Howdy howdy, my name is Lily from Makecraft Game and today we're unboxing Trailblazers, which is inside this cardboard box and I'm very excited about it. Before we get into the unboxing, I'm gonna say make sure you subscribe and leave a comment below. Always love seeing more people on the channel. All right, so in this box we have the Trailblazers Travel Friendly Expansion and the Deluxe Edition. I am very excited about this game. It's one that I've been kind of playtesting for a while, and so I decided to finally have a version of my own. All right, and of course, we have our expansion there. All right, I'm going to put this aside to start. Let's get into the main thing. Trailblazers is the, well, one of the newest games by Ryan Courtney. He's been putting out a lot of them lately, but it's a deluxe edition. Oh my gosh, I love how, I love it when the inside of box covers have stuff like that. I think it's super fun. We've got our learn to play. We've got your standard solo mode rules, which are by themselves. And then you have the epic solo mode high scores where you can log your solo scores. Got a pad for scoring in the main game, which I guess you would need. And then we have the rest of it. Okay, so what I love about this game is this thing. This is actually one of the really big selling points for me was, I mean, besides the game itself, which is amazing. Um, this little container here, oh yay, there's a carabiner inside. It can contain the whole game. The game can fit in here. You might have to do maybe the chipboard components instead of the um, wooden ones. I'll have to see how it fits, but it's a game you can take like hiking and that's really cool. So what have we got in terms of cards? This is easy. So you have these here are your camps. Every player will get a set of each color. You have the um, kind of in-game goals, the end-game goals, and then your solo game components, which are very similar to the non-solo game components. And this is nice. You can have the QR code to take with you to do full rules if you don't, again, so if it's a little carabiner, so cool. So these are your cards that are, you know, kind of important. Now, the remaining things. Okay, so all of these, these tiles here. Now these might look a little similar if you played a Ryan Courtney game before, because in previous games, instead of paths, well, paths, rivers, and I guess hiking trails, um, they were pipes. Uh, if you look at this and games like Pipeline or Curious Cargo, you'll notice these cards are very, very similar in terms of the way they're laid out. Uh, Ryan Cordy definitely has a design style that I'm absolutely in love with. So I uh, can't really fault him. If you found something good, why, why back away from it? Oh, I am struggling. There we go. And yes, there are a lot of these cards. Ooh, these are... Okay, so we'll put those down for a second. Oh, there's some scattered in just in various places. So these are our walking component, or um, paths. I don't I remember exactly what these are for. These are like extra pieces. I have to look, I have not played with these before, so. Could be for an expansion I have yet to play, but I'm excited to find out. More paths. I'm just gonna make sure there's no extra pieces. Don't see any. And one more thing. And more pass. 
Now for your wooden piece component from the deluxe edition is all of these animals. As, okay, yes, yeah, so I do have this. These are like a biker, canoe hiker expansion, which I have not played with yet. And it looks like campfires as well. I don't know that. But <laughs> uh, you have animals for the animals expansion, which I think is really fun. Um, and it looks like this is also the animals expansion pack, but in chipboard form. I think this is just to make it easier to take with you um, because all of these wooden components don't exactly fit in the small pack. Now, all right, so we have this tray, which is really cool. It is just to hold all of your animal components, so you don't need to keep them in these bags. So I'm just gonna go ahead and be a monster and dump them all out into there. Now, will I regret this decision later? Maybe. But for right now, let's be a monster. I love the bison. Oh, very. Beautiful mess that I'll never regret. Go ahead and take those out. Now we're gonna load this up. So main cards going in there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put those expansion cards in there as well. And then for the rest of these cards, I guess they go in here. I think this is right. My brain is telling me this is right. So I'm gonna just go with it and then make See if I regret this decision later. Actually, I don't think these go in here. That's whatever. I know there's a way to make this look like cute, and I just don't know what the way that that is. Yep, it's perfect. These cards are really slidey. <laughs> Okay, maybe not the best of decisions that I've ever made. Oh, wait a minute. Did I mess this up? I might have. Yeah, okay. I see what I did wrong. So, oh no, this is going to be a horrible mess and I'm here for it. I didn't realize that this is two decks. And that, I think, is where my downfall is. So you do need two decks of this game to play at certain player counts, and I believe for the solo variant, um, but you only need one deck for most games. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just change this up to only have one deck in it. Now, do I think I could fit two? into this bag? I absolutely do. Do I think I need to right now? No. So one deck fits very easily. Game shut, done. As for the other deck, I think I'm just going to put it in a bag for now. I'm very excited to play this game in person. I played it a lot on TTS, but that you never can really get over not having physical components. Like physical components just feel so fun and just so good to play with that it's kind of difficult to not be in love with it. Put that back in there, put those in here. There's not too much to this game. It's a little bit bigger of a box for just like on your shelf, but it's got some very nice components, which hard to argue against. And that is the short and sweet unboxing for Trailblazers. If you can't already tell, I'm really excited about this game. We've played it before on TTS. You can see it teach and play on the MCG YouTube channel. I probably will be doing another video on it soon. 
because I really, really adore this game. Back when I was playing it on TTS, I would play the solo mode about seven times a day. Now that I have the physical copy, I have a funny feeling I'm going to be doing that again really soon. As always, thank you for watching and make sure to check out more MCT content.